So now that your patch is complete, there are a number of tools in the EOS console to verify that patch. So let's take a look at how you would make sure that everything is patched properly. One of the simplest things you want to do is do an address or a channel check. So let's take a look at that. And we'll, we'll do that in live. So we'll go out to live. And now we can use a special channel check command. So what we want to do to start the channel check is begin with the first channel that you want to check. In this case, number one. One, select the level. I'll put it at full. And now before you terminate the command, there's a soft key that will say chan check. You want to hit that. And then once you complete that command, you'll be in channel check mode. Now you can use next and last to step through those channels to verify that those channels are, are working. You can also use the, the address command to do something very similar. Um, and there is a soft key, and it's a, a second page soft key, so I have to hit more soft keys. Address, one, full, enter. And now I can use next and last to step through addresses. So you can do both channel and address check to verify all of that. That works particularly well for dimmer channels. If you need to verify that your moving lights have been patched properly, you can use the lamp controls function to make sure that any of the commands are available to strike your lamps and things like that, and then you can begin moving them around. So let's take a look at that. I want to verify that my Mac 700s are ready, so I will go ahead and select them using a direct select. And then I can use the lamp control soft key, which in this case is, again, more soft keys, and hit lamp controls. And now I have a couple of examples here, and if, for instance, I hit lamp on, you can see if that works. And then once I do that and wait for them to go through their calibration and their their uh, lamp on procedure, I can roll their intensities up to full just to verify that they're, that they're on. And then I can begin to move them around and see if they are behaving the way I want them to. And finally, I want to verify that my scrollers are working and are properly calibrated. So let's take a look at that. I'll bring up 11 through 14. I'll take those to full. And then I'm going to go to my color encoder page and make sure that I've got the right color there. And I can start rolling through my scrollers to see if they are functioning and it appears that they are, but I also want to make sure that they're calibrated so that when I tell the EOS console that I want to go to the third frame or the fourth frame that the console puts it in the right spot. And here's the method that you would calibrate your scroller. With the scroller selected, go ahead and roll all the way to the last frame. And then if you have not already, go ahead and push the encoder so that it's switched into fine mode. And once you do that, there'll be a calibrate button that will appear on the touch screen next to that encoder. Then what you want to do is use the encoder to center the frame to make sure it's exactly where you want and press the calibrate button. Once you've done that, press the last key to bring the, the scroll to the last known position for that frame in the console and just verify that it's actually centered. If it's not, use the encoder to center it and press the calibrate button. And you can just do that until you work your way all the, back, all the way back to the beginning of your scroll and then the console will remember those settings so that the scrolls go to the appropriate location as you click through next and last. So those are some tools that you can use to verify your patch on the EOS.